Hello guys, welcome back. This is Rafa here. And in this video, I'm gonna be introducing you to, uh, I sound strange, but either the Lugana and the Lugia V22 uh, or the Mercedes Benz OC500. Why? Because I actually don't know what will come. Uh, you see, uh, I want to take uh, Route 972M over here and uh, a double-decker bus just departed on this uh, route uh, and so I thought that it would be a great opportunity to uh, showcase you guys whatever uh, bus model comes because I know I have not filmed it yet uh, while it's not crowded uh, because it's uh, coming soon after so we'll see what it will be um, and uh, that'll just be the video. Says it's arrived. Has it arrived? Oh, okay, I see that it's a Mercedes-Benz OC500 LE. So, guys, um, those buses were introduced in uh, 2008. There are currently 134 sets of, of uh, those running, 134 buses. Um, they were bought by SMRT buses, so they are in SMRT specifications. Uh, basically, have this... Uh, bus stop display like in this Alexander Denison Viral 500 bus opposite um, and today I'm gonna be riding on one of them so I'm closer here It should be arriving. Not sure uh, how the traffic lights are on its side, but many cars are turning towards that direction. And uh, I'll go to the Currently, those buses are operated by both SMRT and Tower Transit. Town Tra Tower Transit took a few of them after uh, they won. A contract, a bus package contract. Let's get on board. As you can see, the interior is uh, pretty spacious, I would say. Like, what do I think of them? 
most important, one of the most important things I should mention is that those buses um, have the uh, Gemilang Coach Work Body Work, which is a um, Malaysian uh, based uh, body work. Um, so, the bus was kind of built on uh, their own design. It's only the chassis that was built in uh, Germany, I believe. And, uh, and the rest was uh, built actually in Thailand. Strangely for this uh, model, they built it in Fongori, uh, Fongori bus factory. I don't even know how you pronounce it. I forgot. Um, but I'll update this all in the description. Like they give this uh, nostalgic old vibe. Like they have a Gromby engine, which is just something I like. Um, but at the same time, most of the buses don't actually have uh, that much of a uh, howling sound from the gearbox. I don't know how you pronounce this. 
either, but uh, this is a C model that's used on a lot of the public buses in uh, Singapore. They're more comfortable than, than the City Star Eco seats on the Sitaros. And in fact, I feel that part of their um, refurbishment was a bit. Um, like they wasted money on some stuff. They didn't have to repaint the, the exterior, they could have just polished it. Ooh. Yeah, you guys heard this uh, grumbling engine. Yeah, I feel like they could have uh, focused more on uh, maintaining the technical parts, uh, which, I mean, I can't say, but a lot of us feel that they, uh, it's something they lack on because the buses still feel uh, shaky and rattly. That's what all of us conclude that they uh, spent, that they didn't spend money in the right place. I mean, it's we enthusiasts. I mean, some of us, some of us like it, some of us not. Uh, I understand why some enthusiasts like it. It's the oldest that bus model that SMRT has, uh, so it still gives them some nostalgia from the even older buses in a way. Uh, but some some enthusiasts also uh, don't like this model because it doesn't have a loud Z uh, ZF. Um, it's it's uh, not smooth. It's shaky. It's rattly. Um, yeah, I would say if you want a good uh, ZF, um, you should try the scanning key to preserve Ruby. And yes, I will be uh, taking you guys on that one too. Yeah, it also features SMC transit doors, which I personally don't like that much because they kind of open and close 
a bit messily, but maybe they were just cheaper. See how the lights are more rounded? Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching and as usual, uh, comment down on which bus or train model you'd like me to get on and talk about. Um, as usual, stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.